<laughs> Welcome to John Gillespie's Wisconsin's Waters and Woods. Today's show is brought to you by the Pabst Brewing Company. As they say, PD Army ASAP. By your Toyota dealer, I love what you do for me, Toyota. And by MW Marine. MW Marine, your full service marine dealer. Just sit back and wait. Hope that a monster will come and crush your feet. The skies are here. Welcome to Wisconsin's Waters and Woods. Well, folks, it's a cloudy, warm day in September, and a lot of you don't realize that there's an open season hook and line for sturgeon fishing in the state of Wisconsin. And we're with Big Dave Ehart, who is probably the only guy I know of that guides for sturgeon, but this is what we're after, isn't you it, bet. Dave? Uh, big fish are happening right now. So uh, we got three of them in the last 24 hours. One, two of them bigger than this, 66 and a 63 inch. and. Uh, Come on up to the river's edge and tear into some of these. You're going to have a ball. Well, that's an awesome fish, Dave. It's, it's heavy. It. That's why I'm grunting. This is about <laughs> oh, a 50 Put them down. Fish. That's okay. Put them down. But let's talk a little about the sturgeon fishing. Now, I guess we got uh, until the middle of October that you can fish these hook and line. You don't right. need a special license, do you? No. You just get a tag that's issued from the DNR. There's no cost. All you need is a Wisconsin fishing license. And then when you do get a legal one, you bring it up to the bait shop and we'll put a tag on it, just like the old deer tags are. They got to be 50 inches. You can keep one a season. Well, you and I have been doing this two, three years now together, fishing for these things. Think we got a shot at a legal one today? Oh, John, we got off to a slow start, but the big fish are happening right now, so get up here. This is the time to be here. We're going to get some big fish today. And we'll show you how to sturgeon fish and everything else, too, right? And all this week's winners of the 1995 Paps for Women Fishing Contest, all of that coming up right after this. We wanted you to appreciate the bold taste of cold-filtered Paps Genuine Draft and bright, refreshing Paps Light. So we made the first ever scratch and sniff commercial. We figure if you scratch the box and experience the aroma, you'll hear us when we say, if you can't taste the difference, why pay the difference? But we didn't find out until after we shot the film that technology hasn't yet made this possible. Sorry. We hope you'll try Paps Genuine Draft and Paps Light anyway. Thanks. Class-leading, powerful Toyota Tacoma trucks. It's Toyota's nationwide clearance. Toyota's hot, hot, hot. The best time to get your best deal. Get a special $199 a month lease with $199 down on Tacoma. This is a TMCC lease available through Toyota dealers. Each dealer negotiates his own terms. Save on Tacoma option packages. It's your opportunity to get the big Toyota T100 Extra Cab with $2,000 savings on valuable options. Hurry, get the Toyota you want now before they're all gone. What's there to do in Rhinelander, Wisconsin? My dad catches a huge muskie. Whoa, look at them go, wow! And we saw loons on the lake. My mom and dad go golfing. And they're golfing for me too. We go snowmobiling. My mom and I saw a bald eagle. We go ice fishing. For more information and a free brochure on vacationing in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, call 1-800-236-4-FUN. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned, we're sturgeon fishing in the Wisconsin River in the Wisconsin Dells area with guide Big Dave Ehart. And I'll tell you, Dave, one of my favorite things about sturgeon fishing is we're on a big pontoon boat. We just sit back and relax after you get everything baited up and wait for a fish to hit, right? You bet. It's simple fishing, but it's much fun as any fish you're ever going to catch. Now let's talk about what we're using here because, okay. folks, this is a real basic system, isn't it, Dave? It is a basic system, but you need good tackle because we're going to tie into some big fish. We're using a heavy swivel on a sliding sinker, that's a three ounce pyramid sinker. The rounder sinkers have a tendency to roll on you. And when we throw these out, we're gonna be fishing as many as, you know, 12 to, six to 12 lines. So when we throw them out there, we want them to lay flat. And this, what this does, it has a tendency to just lay flat on the bottom. Okay. And then it slides through like a Lindy setup. And I've got a two ot Kaley hook with about three night crawlers. Yeah, let's take a look at this, folks. Look at that. Just a big glob of crawlers. And sturgeon uh, fish mainly by smell? Is well, that not right? by smell. And that's why this bait made uh, worm scent. This worm and crawler scent. We always put that on there. And that'll help the fish find the bait quicker. And once once those fish locate that bait mate, they'll come in and we'll have a, a lot of times multiple fish. Really? At a time, sure. Well, so, hey, do the honors here. Right. And I, I know folks uh, don't realize it. Uh, they think, oh, sturgeon. You go sturgeon fishing, you catch one fish. Yeah. 
we got a chance of catching 20, 30 yeah, fish. Yeah, we in catch a day. 20, 30, but right now, like I said, just within the last couple days, the big fish have turned on. So I'm going to put you in holes that we'll hopefully get a big keeper fish. We've caught plenty of smaller fish on your show, John, just by accident, right. walleye fishing. So I'd like to see you hook into a legal, legal sized fish today. Well, hey, look at this, folks. I get to just sit back after Dave casts out, and we just watch the rod tips here, and they bite like bluegills, huh? Just yeah, a little they pack. Real light tap tap like a walleye. Just sit back and relax and then hang on once they hit. Sounds good, buddy. There we go, Dave. All right, there we go. That didn't take long. No, that job. didn't take long. About 20 minutes, and we've had yep. a lot. Oh, man. What about the anchor nice rope, fish. Dave? Let me get that out of the way real quick. He's over on this side. Uh, okay, what do I do here, man? No, we got all I'm these just gonna lines let you, I'm going to go right over the top of you with these other poles, John. Okay. Just let me get that one from between your legs. <laughs> what pound test you got we on got these? 20 pound test. Oh, that he's under the boat, Dave. Right out in front of the boat, okay. John. He's Those under the boat, Dave. fish usually go right up river. Now you got the drag set the way yeah, you want. Yeah, the drags it? are set pretty good. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's, it's a fire draw. This is only Holy one fish, but man. when you get two or three fish on at a time, boy, then you got your hands full. Holy cow! They're just, this is just him, power. I think that's a big fish, John. Do you really? Yep. How can it's you funny tell? Because it's just staying down and it headed right up river right away. And folks, I'll tell you, they said these actually jump too, huh? Oh yeah, they'll come right out of the water, especially oh, at nighttime. Uh, well, he's coming up a little bit. Okay. But you were saying earlier, night's the best time for the yeah. big guys, huh? Although, you know, these last, there's, he's up by the top. Yeah. I don't think he's that big. But I'll tell you, that's, oh, they're oh, just, just fun to catch, one. though. That's just a little 10-pounder. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Oh, that's fun, though. And they bite, you know, it's funny, folks. They just, it's just like a little bluegill tap, yep. you know, Dave? Yeah, we thought we had some white bass or walleyes in there, but... Well, we got to watch these other poles, because they normally come two, three at a time. Once, once they find that attractant then they start coming in in schools and you know we've talked about this on the show many times before these sturgeon but uh, they're just such cool fish you know like you've pointed out before prehistoric animals but th their skin is real weird too and everything isn't it yeah they've got a leather like texture to them and a diamond pattern real sharp spines on the top and the sides the older they get these will smooth down after spawning and rubbing up on the sandstone and but uh, beautiful fish, just and a baby. Just a little one like that is quite a fight too, man, yeah. I'll tell you, it really is. Now we get a 60 pounder on today, man, that's I, gonna be something I else. We do. I think we, you know, we've been getting some big fish and I think it's prime time. Cool, well we're gonna let Tim the photographer catch one today too, right? You bet. Left rod, left rod, left rod. Got there him. he is, John. All right, Dave, any size of this guy at all? Uh, I don't think so, but it's hard to tell, he's out in that current. You know what's really interesting though is you've got spots all along this river that uh, if you want action, you go for action yeah, spots. Yeah, this, this spot here is known for numbers of fish. You know, you can stay here all night and catch 20, 30. This might be a better fish, John. Really? But you know, a misconception among people when they think of sturgeon fishing, oh, you got to sit out there two days to catch one fish. That's no. not the case here at all. No, we never get skunk sturgeon fishing. Haven't gotten skunk sturgeon fishing in 14 years. Honest to God? Yeah. Wow. This might be a but better fish, this, huh? This is a decent fish. I don't think it's real big, but they're, they're all, it's hard to tell until you get them up by the boat. They're in deep water and strong current. What's the biggest sturgeon you've seen here in the Dells area? Well, in the springtime, when, when they're getting ready to spawn, we've got fish in here that are seven and eight feet long. Jeez. They've dated skin samples back 150 years to the Civil War of fish, you know, so there's some, there's some monster fish in you here. You mean those fish are 150 years old? Yep. That's amazing. Uh, chances are very slim that you're going to get a fish that size in. There's very little you can do with them. They're so strong and so powerful. We'll get a good look at them, turn them loose anyway, and go have one of those T-bone steaks for dinner. Ooh, oh, that's a nice sturgeon. Fish, that's a nice sturgeon. 38 inches or so. Yeah, that's a nice fish, Dave. Well, you said nighttime's best. Anyway, I, I wouldn't mind. Let's stick around and catch one more. Sure. That's a nice sturgeon. Nice, nice fish. We were talking about three foot fish as being small fish, but. Wow, that's a cool looking one, man. What are they doing down there sitting in these spots? Well, they, they're deep holes next to strong current. We're just waiting for the bait fish to swim by them. And they're like big vacuum cleaners. <laughs> that's so cool. But that's just a real typical, you can catch 20. one of those. Man, these are sharp, aren't they? These yeah, things they are. Sure. That's how, and if you get a big one on, the danger is that they'll roll and yeah, cut your line with right, these things, right. huh? Beautiful. But let's we'll see if we can catch one or two more here. Yeah, they, that's fun, man. We gotta <laughs> let Tim know. We gotta let Tim All the right, Tim, the next one's yours. And then we'll go, after he catches one, we'll go to lunch. It sounds good. Well, dinner, actually. Left rod, left rod. Tim, it's your turn. Hey, got there him? You go. All, All right, you. Tim the photographer is back on TV again. <laughs> He's been waiting for this all year, Dave. I'm gonna pull that front anchor, Tim. 
Decent fish? Feels huge. <laughs> they always do, it seems. You know why? It's really odd, Dave. I'll tell you, a spot like this, I can't understand how why a spot like this holds so many fish, you know? Well, this fish, this spot holds fish all year round. A lot wow, of big fish, rod. main oh, channel. <laughs> there is something else though, this sturgeon fishing, Dave. But this spot will hold fish all year, huh? Yeah, if we can get in this spot, Luke, we can normally catch 20, 30 fish here in an evening. So you take people to practice here on these small fish yeah, and then we'll take them for the big ones, Get some numbers huh? and then go for the bigger ones once it gets dark out. What do you think there, Tim? Great, man. Wow, there's powerful, powerful fish. Right amongst the holes there, right? <laughs> So folks, you got to imagine that that one is small, Dave says. Yeah, so. it's just a teenage fish, <clears throat> maybe 10 years old, and we're fishing for fish that are a minimum of uh, 25 years old. Wow. <laughs> and nighttime's your best time to, to come? Yeah, at night's when we get more of them and, and bigger ones. But uh, you can catch them throughout the day, too. You just don't catch as big a ones and as, uh, as many as you do in the evenings. Oh, they're but cool even these fish, fish this size is just a lot of fun. Well, I think we're ready to go for the big ones, huh? You bet. Why don't we go and get one of those famous 16-ounce T-bones? Dennis promised us at the river's edge. I'm never one to pass up a free meal. So. <laughs> okay, let's go do that. We'll come back for the big fish. Sounds good to me. Backwoods Buck, the complete hunting system developed by professionals. You can create a false sense of security for deer by matching the natural smell of the hunting area with Backwoods Buck mask scents. Then bring your trophy into range by instilling anger or sexual excitement with Backwoods Buck lures. The Backwoods system of products helps the hunter utilize a deer's territorial and sexual instincts to the fullest. For a successful hunt, choose the Backwoods system, the system that makes total sense. Some special packages from MW Marine. For duck hunters, this 14-foot model, 1436 Alumacraft John boat with a 9.9 .9 horsepower Mariner motor, a Shorelander B1410 trailer, freight and prep included at $27.85. And we've got all sizes of John boats also on sale. MW Marine also has this V14 Alumacraft. It's 14 feet, 3 inches long. It has a 68-inch beam. This boat comes with a 15-horsepower Mariner and Shorelander B1410 trailer. With freight and prep, only $33.46. NW Marine also has indoor and outdoor storage available. Ole, ole, it's the best compact ole, sport utility ole. vehicle at initial quality. It's Forerunner. Toyota's hot, hot, hot. And the best time to get one is now. It's Toyota's nationwide clearance. Your Toyota dealer is offering Forerunner leases, only $2.99 a month. This is a TMCC lease available through Toyota dealers. Each dealer negotiates his own terms. If you want the ultimate SUV, check out Land Cruiser. Toyota's hot, hot, hot. Now with dual airbags, it's Toyota's nationwide clearance. Don't miss it. Welcome back, folks. Well, I'll tell you, it's nighttime now, and Dave's got all this fluorescent line and everything, and he's got a sturgeon on already. And I'll tell you, as soon as it got dark, you were right, man. Uh, they, they start hitting. It just got dark enough where we could see the line glow, and the rod tips glow, and bang. Well, after we get this sturgeon in, we'll tell the folks about your setup here. This is a neat setup. You can see this line. Well, it looks like a, a electric clothes hay line, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah, this you know 20 pound test looks like quarter inch rope with these black lights. <laughs> and it's nice because at nighttime with our lanterns, you can't, a lot of times your lines get crossed and uh, you can't tell if one line's over another line, but this here, you can see it all the way down to the water. Is this a decent sturgeon? Uh, it's staying on the bottom, John. I don't think it's very big, but. Well, you fish. got us in big fish water at yeah, big fish time of day, bet. too. We're not going for the numbers today. We're just going for big fish, and I hope we can, they'll accommodate us a little bit tonight. Well, these, oh, look at him. Yeah. This one hasn't come out of the water yet, but he's shaking his head pretty good. You say normally the bigger ones will just yeah, come, out come like shooting a torpedo, out of the water, huh? especially the later it gets into the fall. You know, we only got about three more weeks of fishing to do here, so if people are thinking about coming up, they better get up here and do it before it's over with. Do you have openings for guiding? Yeah, I saved about 15 openings for your show, John, because I always get so many calls when you call, when, you, when I do a show. Is it you. primarily nighttime? <clears throat> yeah, it is. Well, we'll catch them day and night. Well, you showed us that today. Yeah, but, uh, you know, even if the people can't book a trip with me, they can always rent a boat or a pontoon. And, and you'll help them out. Help them out, sure. Stop by the bait well, shop. and. Well, this is a blast. We just had dinner, came back out, and there, oh, it's, oh, a, it's big a big catfish, catfish folks. A big, big cat. Look at that catfish. <laughs> wow. 
We, we're going to have to net that. Whoa, there he goes. That's a nice catfish, buddy. Right here in the corner, John. We're, oh, yeah, I got it right here. That's a nice catfish. He did not like that light. Wow. Is that common, Dave? Yeah, it's pretty common. That's a beauty, man. Here he comes. Here he comes. Head. Come on over here, guys. Let's see if we can get him. There he is. Ooh, that's a nice cat. Look at this thing. <laughs> wow, there he goes. Wow, There's look at that 20, cat. 20 pound cat. Holy man. <laughs> that thing's a pig. Yeah, that's a big one. Are those good to eat? Oh, they're excellent eating. Are they really? Pure white meat. Oh, you got to hold this guy up, man. Be careful. I don't want you to get stung by him. That's a nice look cat. Look at that catfish. Wow. Sturgeon fishing and a big cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, a little man. Little bonus fish. Now, can you come, come here and actually fish for cats? Oh, like a lot that? of people were up here just fishing catfish today, right underneath the dam. Below the lower Dells Dam is just excellent for big cats. This is a real average size fish for below the dam. Really? Catch a lot of, you know, we get them up to 30 pounds, 35 pounds. Wow. But that's probably 15 or maybe even 20. That's a beauty. It's a big cat. What kind is that, Dave? You know? That's a flathead cat. That's a flathead, huh? Tell by the. How big do those get? Oh, they'll get 30, 40, 50 pounds. Holy man. We that was cool. That yeah. <laughs> that was cool when he came up, wasn't it? Yeah. He didn't like that light. I hope you hold his mouth. I don't want to get uh, chomped there. Got a player's back there, John. Oh, that's all right. But, oh, yeah, when he, when he saw that light, man, he was ready to go. You had him hooked pretty good there, too, man. Well, I felt, I thought we had a big walleye on there for a minute, but that's a nice cat. You bet it is, man. Well, is that a good sign or it doesn't well, make any difference? A fish is a fish when you get a quality fish like that, but we got to watch these other poles. This is prime time right now. Right now, huh? You bet. Let's get this line back in the water. Well, cool. Here he is, Dave. Dave, got it. I got one going All here, right. man. You, 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 whoa! Whoa, he's right under the pontoon. Come right out in front, John. Oh, Jesus. I'm pull this his thing. anchor wow. He just jumped. I didn't think he was real oh, he big. he came right out of the water, man. I'll tell you, did you see him jump? Yeah, yeah. It's not a real big fish, but it's... Uh, oh, I'd love to see one of those 60-pounders jump whoa, sometime, they, man. You'll, you'll hear, you can tell just by the splash when you got a keeper fish on. Wow. Did that thing hit? I should yeah. tell you, you know, you and I were just sitting there and Tim the photographer saw yeah, this and set the hook, hit. man. Wow, uh, look at that. He got wrapped around. He got wrapped around there, huh? He's going to come untangled, John, and then he's going to take a dive again, so. What do he, I do here? No, there he's he going to go down again. Okay, so he's gonna there go he down. goes. Just take your time. Now, remember, we got those sharp spines on him, so that line's probably a little weak. Wow. You know. Look at him go like that. Look at him go, Dave. You bet. See if we can keep him in the light there, you know, yeah, so the I'll folks see at if home I can't can see get him. him over on the side here, John. Okay. Bring him forward just is. a little bit. Whoa. Nice sturgeon, Dave. Yeah, just a little guy, but... Just a little guy. <laughs> compared to what we're looking for, but... I'll tell you, that's an awful lot of fun. You bet. You know? Now, what about, you know, we're early September. The season just started. It, it just continues to get better and better into the fall, you know? The, the prime time is really coming up. You know, the big fish just started turning on. We had that warm summer and, and warm temperatures. So these next three weeks, we're going to have some real hot and heavy action. Now you hold know. that guy up. That's a nice fish. You bet. And that's what, about 35 inches? Yeah, that's a good 34, 35 inches. But once they get over 40, John, then they grow in girth. They'll almost double that size uh -huh. in width, you know. And we haven't hooked one of those yet. And I'm hoping that we can still hook one tonight. But. You know, we can catch dozens of fish like this, literally, pretty much from the beginning of the season on. Unfortunately, Pabst isn't a billion dollar brewery like Bud, Miller, or Coors, so we don't have millions to pour into big, fancy advertising campaigns. We'd rather pour our money into the beer that you pour into your mug. Guess that's why cold-filtered Pabst Genuine Draft has the great taste that never fades, and why people call Pabst Light the brighter light. Hey, what do you want? Great ads or great beer? We thought so. Ole, ole. It happens ole, only ole. once a year. A Toyota nationwide clearance. Toyota's hot, hot, hot. The best time to get the best. Avalon. Starting at only $23,600. Avalon. Toyota's flagship is built in America. Get a year-end low lease on Previa starting at $2.99 a month. This is a TMCC lease available through Toyota dealers. Each dealer negotiates his own terms. Toyota's to get the deal and the selection on the Toyota you want, you better hurry. Toyota's nationwide clearance event happens only once a year. Folks, as you know, each and every week we take our television cameras fishing around the state of Wisconsin. But I want to tell you something. Our favorite spot to fish is northern Wisconsin.
These five counties and the Lactu Flambeau tribe invite you to come and experience Wisconsin's beautiful Northwoods. We have the largest concentration of freshwater inland lakes in the world. We have world-class muskie fishing. We have world-class walleye fishing. We have world-class pan fishing. You don't have to go to Canada to catch big fish. We have it all right here up in northern Wisconsin. For more information and a free brochure on these northern counties, call 1-800-569-2160. That second rod, Dave. Yep, that, set that it, set fish? it. I think that's a fish, John. Yeah, that is a fish. All right. Cool, man. Boy, they're hitting awful Ooh, light yeah. tonight. I mean, usually you said when they hit... Well, oh, that, is it a better fish? I don't know. It's, it's so, so hard, hard to tell. No, the way these water. fish fight, it yeah. is so hard to tell, man. But I'm worried about those other lines. Go on here, John. You got one? I had another hit. Did you? Miss him? No, I got him. Do you really? We got two at a time? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Double header sturgeon, yeah. folks. This is just a little guy. You don't think my my fish came over and, and got I your line? I don't think so. This, you were way on the inside. I'm worried about tangling up in these other lines here, buddy. Well, if we do, we do. That happens. It's nighttime fishing. You know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, right. So we got two going at a time here, huh? I think this, so. This guy's Unless swimming this... at me, I think. We may have the same fish, John. Well, if we do, it's mine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but boy, they're hitting so light. Look, mine's mind. way out there. Oh no, I just got another line, that's what I got. Whoa. Maybe you might want to just get Whoa. right out on the front Whoa, of the That is too. the easiest thing in the world to do. There we go. Whoa. Look, right <laughs> under the pond too, watch out for that sharp edge. Okay. All righty, now you're okay. Look at that rod though, folks. Look at that, I mean, that, that's just sheer, raw, sheer power on these yep. fish. Whoa, oh, sorry, <laughs> that's all right. Is the anchor rope up? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I think this guy's about ready, buddy. Okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there he is. There he is, that's another. 36 inch fish. We're looking for its grandparents, but we'll take them tonight. Oh, there he is. Can you get him? You bet. Another sturge. Another sturge. Good this job. This is three or four minutes after we caught that last one. Yeah, that one. was on that minnow, John. That one was a minnow really? spinner. Yep, it hit that Northland spinner. Now, explain that to the folks, because, I mean, that's the last thing you'd think to, that you'd use for well, bait. Well, see, that's basically, you know, I, every once in a while I like to, you know, in the springtime we catch a lot of sturgeon when they're up here spawning. We catch them when we're walleye fishing on these minnow spinners. And I thought, what the heck, it doesn't hurt to, we're going for big fish and you never know what they might hit on. And uh, sure enough, we had that glow in the dark northern spinner on there and a minnow and a little bit of the bait made on there. I got one out of here and I just getting missed these lines one out of here, out. Dave. Getting these lines you gotta out. You got to help me out here, man. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to get the lines back out again. And uh, Oh man, I'll tell you, these things fight. What happens if they charge the boat? What do you do? You know, you just, Try and keep it from touching those rough edges along the side of the boat. Keep your rod out away from the boat or down right in the water. You know, I think he's going to get tangled up there in that outside line. No, right, he's I'll okay. I'll try and get that out of your way. Boy, I'll tell you something, Dave. You get two, three fish on a night like this, and I just can't imagine what it would be like. You know that? Well, you know what? That, that glow-in-the-dark line has really helped because we were able to see our lines right out to the water. I know the camera's probably not picking it up too well, but it's... It's really helping us out a lot as far as seeing where the which line is in what position. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Whoa, whoa there he goes. Jumper. Look at him. Look at him. That's cool, man. <laughs> All right, and this one came loose. Great. Wow. Look at him. Wow. Gosh, they're strong. Oh, they're just like freshwater sharks. Whoa. There we go, buddy. Another one. Another fish. That's on that minnow again, John. You know, I don't normally bring minnows along, but I. I did tonight. Just look kind at of, that mouth. Now yeah. you're telling me what they do is they lay in those deep holes and come out at night. Yeah, and then they just come through these flats like a big vacuum cleaner, and they'll just suck up minnows or crawlers or that mouth whatever is else. Neat looking. You know that bigger one that we had when we opened the show. You could literally stick your fist right down inside of that fish, fish, fish's mouth. That's amazing. Well, you got uh, you still got openings for coming up for guiding for the rest of you know 14, 15 openings yep. left. So, just to come out here for the sport event, and you guide strictly evenings for sturgeon. For sturgeon, yeah. If families want to come out during the day. They got young kids. I'll take them out for a day trip. We'll we'll catch plenty of fish. We'll still catch these smaller fish. I'll put us in holes where, we'll, where they get action. And the kids, you know, you had your family up here. Oh, they, they just loved have it. Yeah, biggest fish they ever caught. You yep. know. But um, yeah, I've got plenty of openings, and there's plenty of boats and motors available. And and I, like I said, I do have another guide working with me this week, this year, because of the overbookings. We always get a lot of response from your show, so we'll cool. do whatever it takes to accommodate the people. Big Dave Er will be guiding sturgeon through the middle of October in the Wisconsin Dells area. For more information, give Big Dave a call. That phone number is 608-254-6494.
It's time now to announce this week's winners of the 1995 Pabst Blue Ribbon Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Terry Greger of Sheboygan. Terry boated this 24-inch bass on Spread Eagle Lake using a buzzbait. Rick Henderson of Sheboygan landed this 11-inch bluegill on Cedar Lake. He was using a wax worm. Steve Strife of Beaver Dam caught this 21-inch bass on Lake Emily. Wade Jones of Franksville tied into this 23-inch largemouth bass on Lake Danoon. He was using a power worm. Look at this 11-pound walleye taken by Jeff Asserby of Milwaukee. Jeff caught that beauty on the Fox River using a rappella. And Clyde Campbell of Brown Deer rounds out this week's winners with this 29-inch walleye caught on Lake Winnebago. Remember Pabst Remotes, catch and release and keeping our water safe and clean. So you're on the boat, enjoy the great taste of Pabst N.A. Or when you're having that shore lunch, reach for a Pabst Blue Ribbon. As they say, PB Army ASAP. And that is our show for today. Please join us next week as we head up to Boulder Junction for Fall Walleyes. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying Wisconsin's waters and woods.